the book needs to be read, in fact, by anyone who's concerned with this crisis, this financial crisis, and is concerned that society may be on the brink of collapse, who are concerned that they don't understand the trouble they're having with mortgages and repossessions and debt generally. It was first published in 1989. It was from a generation that was wondering what on earth has happened to our society. And we didn't have a very clear analysis of what it was. The effect of it was, was quite widespread. And it was, I think it was conceived very particularly to reach out to people who are interested in the ecology, the, the direction our society was going in these things, and speak in, a, in a terms that anybody could understand about these issues. As uh, Dr. Hakimi will testify, it was, the effect of it was felt in Malaysia on the other side of the world. How can the book be relevant to Muslim or even non-Muslims? You would see how events are related to the problem of money. The financial system is a world system. Um, anyone who involved in, in finance and who is genuinely concerned to not reform because the current system cannot be reformed, it has to be replaced. Whoever realizes that it needs to be replaced needs to read this book because that comes across very clearly.